Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So this is probably the fastest and the quickest way to unlock a bootloader on any phone which OnePlus has. You just have to put a command in minimal ADP and fast boot and bam your bootloader is unlocked. Now that is the reason this phone or these OnePlus devices are known to be very very developer friendly. Now in this particular video we're going to look at a few things which will open the gates to customize your OnePlus device or the OnePlus 5T to a whole new level. We're going to unlock the bootloader, we're going to install a custom recovery which is TWRP, yes it's already available and we're going to root the device. So if you want to know how to go ahead and do that, just watch this video and before I begin, let me inform you it will not affect your warranty later after this video. I will make a video in which I will inform you guys how to relock the bootloader, how to go back to stock OS and a lot of more things. Hello awesome people, welcome to smartphone tutorials, let's unlock all the power in the OnePlus 5T. Alright guys, so these are the three files that we're going to need. Uh, the recovery file obviously, minimal ABB and fast boot and the super easy file. You need a Windows computer with an internet connection and a USB cable with a OnePlus 5T which has at least 50% charge. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and download these three files that we need. And I would recommend you to put these in a separate folder which will be convenient for you. I will keep it on a desktop on a new folder. So that's how we're going to download the three files. Now let me tell you that uh, it's not going to void your warranty. If you want to go for a warranty claim or something, you can always go back to a stock ROM and relock your bootloader. But please be aware that this process that we're going to follow is going to erase everything on your phone, including the internal memory. So as most of you might know, if you have any important pictures, videos or music files, just go ahead and back them up before you go ahead and unlock your bootloader. Now let's go ahead and download the super su file here, should not take long, alright let's keep it in the new folder there. Alright once all the three files are downloaded we will install minimal ADP and fast boot. This is the program required to run commands and install TWRP and unlock your bootloader. So just go ahead and double click on it, keep hitting next agree next and I will keep the location to the root of the C drive so that I can easily find this particular program now keep hitting next and it will install in a couple of seconds it's not a huge file so it should not take long so we're not gonna run it now and the installation is complete what we're gonna do next is we're gonna copy the TWRP file to the root folder of the software or program we just installed so that we can use it for flashing later Alright, so what we're going to do first is, before we start the process to unlock the bootloader, uh, as a preparation we're going to remove face unlock, we're going to remove fingerprints and we're going to remove any kind of lock pattern or pin whatever it is. We just need to have a swipe lock or no lock at all. So face unlock, enter your pattern, remove face data, there you go. So that removes your face data and then we will go back back yeah so click on finger one enter your pattern delete fingerprint now as many fingerprints you have you need to remove all the fingerprints I'll tell you why okay and then you need to go to screen lock and enter your pattern and change it to swipe all right so let's click on swipe okay so now everything is removed and the reason we need to do it is because if a lock is applied and you boot into TWRP it will ask you to enter your password and sometimes it creates a problem next up we're gonna go to settings again go to about phone and you see this is a oneplus 5t running Android 7.1.1 with oxygen OS 4.7.2 which is the latest one now tap on build number five to seven times and it will enable developer options for you now go to developer options and enable OEM unlocking, enter your pattern here and click enable 
you can read it if you wish to but it's just the usual warning i will enable advanced reboot here so that it's convenient and we also need to enable usb debugging now press and hold the power button the moment you see the reboot menu select bootloader and select reboot again now in a couple of seconds the phone will boot into the bootloader now the next step is going to be unlocking the bootloader so once again that's going to erase everything now as you see the state of the bootloader is locked all right now as you can see the bootloader on the phone is locked so what we are going to do next is we're going to connect the usb cable to the phone so connect one end to the phone and other end to the computer now once it is connected to the computer let's go back to the computer screen now over here click on minimal adb and fastboot icon and type fastboot space devices and hit enter and there you go if you see this particular code and fastboot that means your device is detected and you're good to go next we will type in fastboot space oem space unlock and then hit enter now the moment you hit enter you will see this particular screen on your phone now use the volume up or volume down buttons to highlight the yes option there you go and select the power button or press the power button to click ok now once that is done you need to wait for two to five minutes because the phone will give you a warning that your device is not safe and unsecure and stuff you can ignore that but the phone will reboot a couple of times because it is going to wipe everything and then it will boot into the operating system so i've just skipped that part it may take five to ten minutes so please don't panic let it do its thing it will boot into the operating system and once the phone is back up you just need to go through the setup uh go to build number again press it seven times and enable developer options and this time we just need to enable usb debugging and advanced reboot all right now once that is taken care of we will press and hold the power button and this time we will go to the bootloader again so select reboot select bootloader and touch to reboot again all right brilliant now once the phone has booted up into the bootloader this time you will see that it says at the bottom that the bootloader is unlocked which is a good thing so we are one step closer to getting root and twrp on our now remember you have to keep this phone connected all this while all right so go to c drive and minimal adp and fastboot folder now remember twrp file that we copied here first launch minimal adp and fastboot and check if the phone is still connected so fastboot space devices and hit enter all right it is connected so let's go back and let's right click here click rename right click on the blue area and click copy now go back here and type in fastboot space flash space recovery and then space and right click dot img this is what it should look like and hit enter all right so go back to your phone use the volume down button to highlight the menu option at the top till the time you see recovery mode so you see recovery mode press the power button you will see that the phone boots into twrp now give it a few seconds maybe a minute or so it's booting into twrp for the first time so it will take time so there you see the blue spark logo and there's a recovery so swipe to allow modifications all right now still keep your phone connected and go back to the computer right click and copy the super user file that we downloaded go to your phone's internal memory and paste it there simply go back to twrp click install let me show you again go back all right click install scroll down to see the super su file select it and flash now this flash will take anywhere between 30 seconds to two minutes so please be patient and uh, once it says flashed in successfully if you actually read the instructions the flashing instructions on the phone's screen it says that the phone may reboot 
one to two times and do not interrupt so if the phone reboots maybe two or three times please do not disturb or you know do not stop it from doing that don't press any buttons just leave the phone alone this is a process which is done to install root on your phone so just wait patiently i will skip through that part and wait for the phone to boot to your home screen now once the phone is booted up to your home screen you will see that you have super user app installed and you have complete root access so there you go guys you have root access you have a custom recovery and your bootloader is unlocked so if you like this video guys do like share and subscribe if you want me to change anything or make any more videos on a different topic feel free to mention in the comment section and the giveaway contest is on do remember to participate by checking the links in the description peace